park is pretty packed today. Uh, there's a lot of baseball diamonds and all of them are full. And yeah, just a lot of people in general. It's making me feel a little self-conscious about doing my workout in the middle of the field, but you know, it is what it is. I've been doing it for the past 30 minutes. I started off the workout with 25 minutes of uh, single arm steel mace 360s. So I did one one or one arm 360, then the other arm 360, then two 360s, then three, then four, so on and so forth, and just kept doing a ladder till uh, I reached 25 minutes. Then. So now I'm going to move into some single arms 360s into squats and to alternate kettlebell flips. I have a feeling I'll be at the gym later, which was actually kind of the plan. Um, but yeah, uh, let's do the first superset. Messed up on the last rep there, but it is what it is. Going into alternate kettlebell flips. I'm going to superset these for a bit, at least for the kettlebell and steel mace part of the workout. I think I'm just going to focus on stuff like this, where I'm moving into, or moving from 360 to some motion with the steel mace, and then some sort of kettlebell juggling or flow kind of thing. Do that for a bit, maybe one or two more supersets, and then probably head to the gym after. So for the next set of exercises, which is probably going to be the last, before I head to the gym, um, so going to do this, well there might, there might be one more, but I'm not so sure about it, but we'll come to that later. So going to go into a single arm 360 lunge with a twist, and then into a kettlebell figure eight. Uh, with a swing squat flow. So the 360 to lunge looks like this.
Yeah, getting the 360 motion in along with some legs. Not really. So these kind of exercises just give you body awareness more than uh, and move with and learn how to move with weight and momentum and stuff, rather than the actual load being of a big. Um, like the load isn't great enough for the legs to be overly taxed. It's more so giving you an idea of how to move with weight and momentum and use your core in order to do those kinds of things. So moving into the kettlebell figure eight uh, exercise. Swing squat, figure eight in the back. Swing squat, figure eight back. So yeah, I'm gonna superset these two for a bit. Maybe one more steel mace exercise and then on to the gym. Going to end off the park portion of my workout with kettlebell juggling freestyle. Onto the gym. So for the gym portion of the workout, decided to go a little heavy on squats. Personally, uh, this is my favorite kind of squat. Uh, before it used to be front squats, but there's something about landmine squats that I really like and I'm able to feel really well in my quads. So it's my preferred kind of squat so uh, did one set with just the bar one set with one plate one set with two plates one set with three plates and now uh, this is going to be the first set with four plates 
I think I'm going to go up to five uh, and test myself there. Uh, trying to get 10 reps on each shoulder. So, yeah, let's see how it goes. Not bad at all. Uh, I think five plates is in the cards for today. So yeah, let's try that. All right, so uh, first time, or is it my first time? Well, maybe it's my first time trying 10 reps on five plates. I, I forget, I should keep better track of these things. In any case, uh, let's see how this goes. Yeah, that was pretty brutal, but got it done. Yeah, probably gonna do one back off set and then on to something else. So for the next exercise, doing another thing that I can't really do at home very often, which is uh, dumbbell chest presses. Um, my right shoulder, has been kind of fe been feeling weird uh, so I've been kind of refraining from chest presses uh, but I think sometimes it's better to kind of work through the weirdness rather than let the weirdness fester I, uh, so kind of just uh, slowing down the reps going really light uh, are relatively light with the dumbbells uh, really slowing down the reps trying to get full range of motion I'm going to go 10 reps each hand single arm dumbbell presses 
but before I get into that, so I guess what I like, it might be a pointer to think about when you're injured. So for example, recent, like maybe a year ago, I had a knee issue and I started favoring my knee big time and developed a limp. Uh, so much so that I had convinced myself that I would need to go see a doctor. But before I went to see the doctor, I went to a physiotherapist. The physiotherapist, after checking the thing, said that it was more of me developing bad habits as a result of being scared of u utilizing the knee. I then just forced myself to walk normal and then uh, work through the injury with some reverse sled and stuff like that instead of overly taxing movements like the squat and uh, yeah uh, sure enough it got resolved so yeah that's kind of my mindset behind injuries is definitely listen to your body but don't listen to it too much uh, sometimes it uh, can mislead you and force you to develop uh, imbalances as a result of favoring the injury uh, that you otherwise wouldn't have had. So yeah, uh, it is, a sh you know, you have to kind of be aware of what your body is telling you. But yeah, a little rant over there. Um, yeah, so let's go to the dumbbell presses. gonna do three sets of that and then on to something else so for the final exercise at the gym there was this uh, so there's this Instagram page of Keanu Ray Soto I think I just recently started following him um, so he did this thing today where in a zerker position he does a lunge with a twist and then also moves into kind of like a side, I don't know, I don't know, some kind of squat. Uh, but yeah, uh, here's me trying to replicate that. This is my second set. My first set, I kind of made some mistakes, uh, but let's see how the second one goes.
<sighs> yeah, that's pretty brutal. But yeah, that was a good set. Probably gonna do one more. Head into the sauna. Yeah. That's probably it for today's video. See you all tomorrow.